If you are established in your grace, no one can compromise your grace. No one. Your grace is yours. No one can take it away from you. That means that even if somebody is abusing you, even if somebody is attacking you, even if somebody is, you know, vomiting on your shoes, in that moment you don't lose your grace. So, this question of avoiding people. There's a natural thing that happens as you begin to grow within yourself spiritually. And, you know, we find that some of the friends we used to be with, we don't want to hang out with them anymore. And we begin to make more conscious choices about who we want to spend our time with and where we want, in what environments we want to place ourselves. And things that maybe at one time were very fun, they become less fun. And people who we once used to identify with and, you know, be in that camaraderie with, we suddenly find that they, they're not growing in the same way and we don't feel called to be with them. It's not that we dislike them or we avoid them or we, you know, um, look down on them or anything or judge them. It's that there's a thing called discrimination. And discrimination is an act of consciousness where you make choices. You make choices about what you say and what you choose not to say. You make choices about what you put in your body. You make choices about what you choose to think about. You make choices about what you choose to put your attention on. You make choices about what you listen to. Somebody may be slandering someone and being ungraceful. You can just look at that person and say, I'm not going to listen to this. With your heart open, just say, I'm not going to listen to this. It's not that you're judging that person or that you're condemning that person or that you're acting superior to that person and you're up on your high horse, you are simply stating a fact. I have chosen not to listen to this. And you can just turn around and walk away. You also begin to choose your environments. You'd, you'd rather be in the company of people of God. You'd rather be cozy in the evening, you know, with, with your wife, with your children, with your gutka. You know, you'd rather be in Gurdwara than out clubbing or, you know, out on the streets or whatever. You start to choose environments of grace because they reflect the grace that's within you. You start to choose environments with dignity because they reflect the dignity that's within you. You start to choose people who are kind and compassionate, people who are committed to their dharam, to their path in life, because it reflects your own commitment. Those choices are not to put anybody down or to reject anyone. Those choices are called discrimination. They affect every aspect of your life. If you are a discriminating person, you think before you act, you choose that doesn't mean that God won't put you sometimes with people who are ungraceful or people who are mean or people who are angry or people who are stupid or people who are acting like complete idiots. Sometimes you are. That's okay. Your grace is your grace. It stays with you under all circumstances. But this process of choosing, of discriminating, it becomes a very loving, conscious thing that you do moment to moment. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe.